many ways to use my probiotic bacteria in that probiotic daily detox drink that I made about how to make the probiotic brew. So I'm going to show you different ways to use it, which is pretty much infinite. So this is what I have going on right now. One of the ways to use it is you go to Costco and you get two of these for six dollars. Huge thing of organic lemonade and you ferment it. So as you can see there's little little uh, fizz already forming on the top there. So what I did is I just poured in about half of the lemonade and then this is the master brew that I use to seed everything with. You can see that there's bubbles everywhere. So right now they're going crazy breeding. So I do about half and half. And with this brew, really quick, all it is is it could be pure water, seed it with probiotic powder, whether that you, know, you could break a pill in there. You want the most strains possible. And there I have 48 strains of bacteria. If you go to the store and you buy kombucha, normally there are only two strains. It's kind of like minerals too, so each 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 species of bacteria does, has a lot of different functions in the body. Some produce B vitamins, some produce, you know, they all produce brain chemicals. I actually get buzzed off of this. It's important to understand that if, basically it comes down to this. Um, you're watching my videos, you don't know where to start. You're all, you're new to this health thing. If you're gonna start anywhere, then I would start with probiotic bacteria because what it's gonna do is it's gonna start reforming your mind because our thoughts are actually not our own. Our thoughts are a combination of all the things living inside of us. It's all of our cravings, our desires, the quality of our thoughts. It's all these, these overweight doctors and overweight physicists that aren't really getting an accurate view of reality because they're not reflecting nature, essentially. They're kind of going against the system. So how are you going to decode reality if you're going against the system? It's not possible. So a good way to kind of get back your thoughts is to change your gut, change, change the, ter the terrain of your intestinal tract, and try to get off sugar, even fruit. If you're going to eat fruit, you eat it as a treat sparingly, and whenever you can, ferment it. So. As you can see in here, I have pineapple fermenting. And that, you know, you could throw that the pineapple chunks in a smoothie and replace them here and there. The bacteria love to live in that. They love to live in coconut meat. Another thing I have going on is sauerkraut. You can use just cabbage. You can, it's better to throw a lot of other things in there. See that nice layer on top? It means it's going well. And, yep, it smells like sauerkraut. And all I did is I, you know, shredded sauerkraut in a food processor and packed this thing full, filled it up mostly with water and then added in just about just a little bit of the brew. It doesn't take much, even a tablespoon. The trick is with this thing, the more of the brew you add to culture or to start your new farm of whatever you're fermenting, the more you add of the brew, the faster it's going to ferment. Really, you could start the fermentation with even one tablespoon, and it'll just take longer. But because this is pennies to produce, all you need is water and cane sugar, and you have infinite probiotics. You don't need to go buy kombucha anymore. That's mostly sugar. You know, once you get on this stuff, I actually get buzzed off of this. Like, and it's not the alcohol too. It's it's actually just re. It's changing my mind. It's working it. So I get euphoric, you know, because I'm not used to all those brain chemicals that the probiotics are making. It's important to remember that indigenous cultures have an upwards of 300 species of bacteria in their gut. And Americans have a ridiculously low amount, something like 10 to 15, if that. It's GMOs destroy them, chemicals, pesticides, insecticides, heavy metals parasites, all these things that are competing and just making it so they can't make it home in our intestinal tract. So this is a lot more effective than taking those probiotic pills as well because it's in liquid form and you're brewing it yourself so you're getting that 
sovereignty back, that do-it-yourself, that freedom, which we all want with health. It's awesome to have. What I have going on is raw cream and grass-fed cows. Kind of like a cheese now. So I add that to my smoothies. It's really good. And this is honey butter I got at Costco. And it's um, non-GMO from grass-fed cows. And here it is in here. And all I'm going to do is just pour in a little bit of this brew and stir it up. So really the possibilities are endless with what you can ferment. Whatever you want to do. Sauerkraut. You want to make vinegar. You want to... I make fermented smoothies. I highly recommend that. If you're going to do a fruit smoothie, add some of the brew. Make that the base instead of coconut water or water. Make the probiotic brew the base of the smoothie. And sip the smoothie throughout the day, but leave it out of the fridge. So throughout the day, the probiotics are breaking down the sugars. So you're, as much as you can lessen sugar, it's an experiment, try it. Remember, fat has nine calories per gram. Carbs and proteins have four calories per gram. So fat has a lot more energy in the molecule, and you'll notice that you're satiated more. So when I was fruitarian, I was hungry every 10 minutes, literally. I couldn't eat enough food. Now that I'm on a high fat program, I'm not a slave to food anymore. I'm just as strong, my energy's more constant, my mental clarity is more constant. Everything's just better because I'm eating more fats, good fats, a lot of oils, avocado oil. Just try it out, experiment. I'm not telling you what diet to go on or what to do, but one thing you can do is just add these probiotics into your program, and I guarantee you, of all my videos, the probiotics are the key to radiant health, no matter what else you're doing. It doesn't matter what diet you're on. All you have to do is add these probiotics in, and especially on an empty stomach, first thing in the morning, if you just drink it, they're going to start breaking down stuff, and you get a ton of energy from it. Yeah, you can do it with food. If you ate a really crappy meal, it's helpful. But the real power of these fermented foods is on an empty stomach. Because you, you eat them or you drink them and they're going to start going in your gut and breaking down all the stuff that's been in there for a while. It's also important to understand that probiotic bacteria make up 85% of our immune system. So they are the main power behind our immune system. So it's really important to build those up in your body. If you've ever taken antibiotics before, your immune system is compromised. Even if you don't feel it right now, it will be later in life. Because antibiotics are like a nuclear blast to these probiotic bacteria. And even if you've never taken antibiotics, it's really good. You'll be in, you'll be in radiant health if you ingest these probiotic bacteria on a regular basis. Watch my probiotic brew. Basically all it is is water. You break a probiotic capsule in the pitcher with the water and you add organic cane sugar. And in two or three days or so, depending, I mean there's a lot of variables, temperature, elevation, but you should be able to taste it and you won't taste any of the sugar, any of the sweetness, because the bacteria eat it all. Yeah, this is truly one of the best ways to regain your health for pennies. It's really easy. Try it.